If home is where you hang your hat, Kangol struggling to afford its pricey new U.S. digs. When the famed hat brand worn by celebrities like Samuel L. Jackson moved from China to Pennsylvania last year, it was built as an effort to create U.S. manufacturing jobs. But the 149-year-old company behind Kangol says more expensive labor means it's losing money on every cap made at this factory. It has been certainly a bigger challenge than what we could have ever dreamed. Most U.S. apparel manufacturing headed offshore long ago. Domestic production has ticked up in recent years as companies like Bowman decide to accept higher labor costs in exchange for being able to respond quickly to fashion trends. The U.S. has reshored approximately 15,000 apparel jobs. Apparel manufacturing has shed 85 percent of its workforce since 1990. And it's still losing more jobs than it's creating thanks to automation and increased productivity showing why President Donald Trump's pledge to return manufacturing jobs could prove difficult. As America's oldest hat maker, Bowman's betting it can succeed with U.S. workers, even by making Kangol the old-fashioned way. The company imported these 80-year-old knitting machines that produce the fabric that go into Kangol caps. If anyone was going to bring equipment from China to America, it would be us. If not, if not us, then who would do this? Um, so this is near and dear to our hearts. Now its workers have to learn to be as efficient as their Chinese counterparts. Very difficult, but once you accomplish it, it's, it's a good feeling to actually accomplish this challenge. The cost to make each hat is falling, but still twice as high as it was in China. The company remains optimistic it'll stitch together a success story. Michael Rubencam, Associated Press, Adamstown, Pennsylvania.